friends welcome to input output number so today in this video we will solve a very very important coding question which is reverse over in a string and this is not an easy type question this is medium level question okay friends here is the question given a string is reverse the order of characters in each word within the sentence while still preserving white space and initial order okay that means you have to reverse each and every character and also you have to reverse the words okay but there is a condition that preserving white space and initial or or okay so this is the condition so here is the input and here is the output it will be id will be reversed as ti okay so do will be reversed as od similarly let's will be reversed to this word okay now we'll write the code okay so first of all write the basic format of the c++ that is as include beats standard c++ dot h using namespace standard okay okay standard first write the main function okay inside the main function there will be a string so the name of the string is suppose s and it contains this string this string okay so let's copy it from here yeah. and paste it here okay now we need a function suppose the name of the function is reverse okay okay inside this first this string is yeah so before this main function write the same function again and we'll return a string so for that we have to write here string as return type okay then the name of the function that is reverse and inside this write the same string that is string s okay so inside this we will first check if the size of the string is zero or not if the size of the string is zero then we will return nothing okay so for that write if condition if is dot size Okay, if s dot size equals to zero, that means the string is empty. So we'll return nothing. So return nothing. Okay. Now we'll write a string stream. So what is string stream? So string stream will store all the string. So I'll write a string stream. S T R E A M. Okay. And the name of the string stream is suppose s s. So this is the name of the string stream, and it will contain what? It will contain the whole string s. Okay, so it will contain the whole string s. Suppose our string is suppose our string s contains this is fin. Okay, so suppose our string s contains this is fin. So the string stream will Store this whole string. That is, this is fin. And when we need this, it will give the first word, and then it will give the second word, and then it will give the third word. Okay. So in this way, the string stream will help our program. So for that, we have write here string stream. Okay. So this contains the string s. Okay. So now we'll write a string. Suppose the name of the string is or. So it will store every or from this string stream. Okay. Suppose the string stream contains this. Let's do it. Okay. And this or will catch every or from this string stream. That is, it will first catch this let's, and after doing this operation with the let's, it will ask the string stream to send the next or. So do will come to this or. Okay, so in this way it will do. So how it will do this? So it will do this like this. So we'll write here a while loop and write here the string stream and string stream will send every or. So here the string stream will send every or to this or string. Okay, so after getting the or, we'll do the operation here. So what we'll do? So string stream contains this. Okay, so let's copy it from here, and you will better understand it. So the string stream ss contains this. Okay, 
and the OR is empty, it contains nothing. Okay. Now we have to write a while loop. So SS sends each OR to this OR string. That is, lets will be come first to this OR. So here will be lets. So lets will come to this OR. Okay. Now the OR contains this lets. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll reverse this lets. So how to reverse this OR? So to reverse this OR, we'll simply write a reverse function. So this reverse function will reverse the OR. So for that, write here OR dot begin, comma OR dot end. Okay. So this will reverse the OR. So the let's OR will be reversed. That is S will come to the first and A will go to the last. Okay. Now after doing this operation, we will store the result into a another string. So we have changed the OR. Okay. That is we have reversed the OR. So now we want to store it into another string. Suppose there is a another string which will contain the result. So suppose the name of the string is result res and this is empty. Okay. So this will contain the, so this will store the result. So result equals to a result plus or. So after reversing the or, the result will store this. So this will store S and L. Okay. So after storing every or, we'll give a space. So for that, store a space into the result. That is result equals to result plus space. Give us space here. Okay. Now after this or a space will be added. Okay. So in this way, each or will be reversed in the sentence. So finally, what we'll do, we'll erase the last space. That is, we are adding extra space after this. That is, after every or, we are adding a space. So after the final or, that is, after the last or, we are also adding a space. So we don't need that space. Okay. So for that, we'll erase that or. That is, we'll delete that or. Okay. So for that, what we'll do, we'll write result dot erase. So erase function will delete the space. Okay. So inside this, write result dot size minus one. Okay. Okay, friends. So our code is complete and it will return. It will return the string. So for that, write here return and then a result. So it will return the result string. So result string will be returned and here we'll store the string. So for that write our string and the name of the string is suppose a result. So inside the result we'll store it. Okay. So now write a for loop to print the string. Okay. So for print i equals to zero i less than i less than what i less than a result dot size. Okay i plus plus okay see out here see out a result of i okay so our code is complete let's run it so you can see this is the perfect output so here our output was like this and you can tally this with this and this is the perfect output okay Okay friends, in this way you can do this program and so you can also check the program by giving another inputs, another input string. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and the most important thing is please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.